Well, this week I learned that the drug Tylenol, which is known as acetaminophen, but the sort of brand name is Tylenol. I think it's also called paracetamol or something like that. Paracetamol. Oh, oh yeah, that, okay. that's a. I, I, you want get some paracetamol? Um, it may be doing more than just reducing your pain. Dun dun dun. dun, dun. Have you heard about this before at all? No. Paracetamol. Okay. So. Acetaminophen is one of the most commonly used drugs in the U.S. I think they say 25% of the population in the U.S. takes it every week. Whoa. Which is like a lot. So it's obviously, it's over the counter. It's not like a prescription drug, but it's for pain medication if anyone doesn't know. It's also over the top stats. Uh, so what they have realized is that people, when they take Tylenol, it increases your risk-taking behavior. So people are more likely to do risky things what? when they have taken Tylenol. In, in this study, they gave them like a thousand milligrams, I think, which is the maximum dose you're supposed to be allowed to take at once. That's so interesting. Um, and basically, they found people feel less negative emotions when they consider risky activities. Um, and they also, general science, so the abstract of this and the introduction of this um, study was talking about how pain modulation physical pain modulation is actually related to emotional modulation. So oftentimes pain yeah. medications can actually um, lower or minimize emotional right, emotional yeah. experiences as well. But what they did is they took oh 500 God. students and they gave them this sort of digital simulation on a computer of a balloon blowing up. And every time they would click a button, the balloon would blow up and like get a little bigger and they would get money for that. But, and so they had to keep pushing it to the limit before the balloon exploded. A risk, right? if you will. So you'd make more money if you clicked again. It's kind of like a game show or like Mario Party where you have to like put, take the Literally risk. Literally right? Mario Party, And yeah. so the people who had taken Tylenol were way more likely to take those risks longer and were way more likely to have their balloon burst. Like I take um, paracetamol <laughs> or Tylenol <laughs> and I do sometimes find that I'll do like a little like, like after it kicks in, I'll be like, kind of like, like, like do a little scared. jig, you know what I mean? And it's like, oh, it's cause I'm like, oh yeah, taking a little risk with my toe, my like, <laughs> inflamed toe. But it's like, oh my gosh, my brain is probably being like, come on, Greg, do a little jig. Um, Okay, wow, good to know. I'll keep an eye out next time you are taking Tylenol if you're doing jigs. You'll be like, Greg, don't risk it. Your toe is gonna explode. I was gonna say like the reason also I, I didn't occur to me, but the study was like, this is really important because if 25% of America is taking this every week, <laughs> what impact do those risk-taking behaviors have on society? It's all the That's freaking crazy. like stock market bros. And they're like, oh, what's <laughs> another recession? Whoa, we were a bit too risky. <laughs> like, too much passing when you're doing Tylenol. <laughs> 